Oh, welcome back and Om Shani to all of you. We are here with 10th of May's Golly Blessing. Now, who doesn't want to become a destroyer of obstacles? Obstacles are a daily life experience for all of us in any way and every way. Whether it's physical obstacles, whether it's mental obstacles, whether it's emotional obstacles. I hope you understand these three different obstacles. We just think about obstacles in the terms of finances, in terms of our work, in terms of a job. But then relationships also can bring about obstacles. Emotional obstacles can come in between relationships. Physical obstacles in terms of your health. And that's why we are here to talk about obstacles. So God says, may you be a destroyer of obstacles and become wise with the knowledge of the three aspects of time. So past, present and future. So when you remember your past, and when God tells us that you were a divine, pure, powerful being, the most wise being whom I sent on this earth. And now look at you, you became greedy, you became jealous, you became hateful, you became lustful, you became angry. So remember who you were and how I sent you. And be that. Try to become that so that your obstacles in life are erased. And the three aspects of time and the three worlds. Three worlds is for meditation. That means whenever you're feeling that you're not able to able to overcome anger, just connect to me and I'll purify you, I'll give you the right guidance and direction and you purify your spirit and move ahead. So these two different parts of knowledge, three aspects of time, that's known as trikal, kal means time and also known as three lok, three words. You'll be able to see a picture on top, <coughs> go through that picture and understand that there are three worlds actually. We are in the physical world and there is a subtle world of angelic body or aura body, astral body and then there is a soul world till where only the soul can go, not even a physical body, not even the astral or aura body can go there. That's the place of retirement or also known as Param Dham or Nirvan Dham or Mukti Dham or Brahma Loka. So God says those who are full of the knowledge of the three aspects, who I was, what I should do now and what I'm going to become in the future then my acting will be perfect. I won't be affected by how other people act around me. And the three worlds who know the three worlds are said to be wise. That is, they are called Ganesh. Ganesh means a destroyer of obstacles. Ganesh ji, whenever there was to be an obstacle, he used to go around the earth and move so fast and quickly. It's not actually about going around the earth. It's actually about racing beyond time. That means you can go beyond time, beyond this physical world into the subtle world and beyond the subtle world into the Param Dham or Brahma Loka world where the Supreme Creator is right? and you can connect to him directly instantly right now when I am talking to you you can do so but for that you need to have the knowledge and you need to learn that knowledge at Brahma Kumaris and that's where the knowledge is being given about the three aspects about who you were in your past life and what you need to become now so as to become a better version of yourself in the future a better version of yourself is not financial always because people generally connect everything to financial, to job and to career and everything. It's about becoming a better character, becoming a more humble, more mature, more good natured, better habitual or habits in your life will make you a better person. And that's what we should strive to do. And then everything else will be taken care of. So Ganesh is someone who is a symbol of somebody who has that knowledge, who has that character, who has that wisdom and is able to overcome all the obstacles without using any negative or satanic or ravenic methods of lust, anger, greed, ego, attachment, jealousy, hate. Such souls should not be an obstacle in any situation. Even if someone does become an obstacle in your life, somebody becomes an obstacle or some situation becomes an obstacle and situations only arise because of people, right? But situations can also be not just financial, can be physical, your physical body, can be weather conditions around you, which are obstructing you, then what do you do? You have to be a destroyer of obstacles and finish the obstacle to find out the reasons. You can't be blaming the weather, can't be blaming people around, can't be blaming your family, can't be blaming your family background, can't be, can't be blaming your physical health. Souls who are destroyers of obstacles transform the atmosphere and the environment. So if people are totally troubled and they're like, how will it happen, who will do it? Instead of thinking of how will it happen, who will do it, they're like, let's do it, let's find a solution. Let's not go into why it happened and who did it and why it didn't happen this way. And we had done so much hard work and this is what we got. No, they don't get into that. And do not just speak about it. They don't speak about the problem, 
they don't speak about the troubles they don't speak about who did it they don't speak about how it happened and how somebody else shouldn't have done something like this they don't spread that atmosphere around they go about changing everybody's thought patterns they go about changing everybody's direction of thinking and they are leaders who got that wisdom and they focus towards solution not the problem you too can learn this beautiful method at brahma kumaris and become a leader of your own life but for that the three aspects of time and the three loka so that you can meditate immediately and get connected and get your answers and that's what you learn in brahma kumaris most welcome and learn this beautiful art from shanti bliss